In this section, I'm going to cover using the various sneak options available to you on the EOS. Uh, sneak is its very own key in the console here in the level keypad, and it has several different functions. And they're all closely related, but I want to go over the subtle differences between them right now. First, we want to look at basic sneak. Now, the idea of sneak is that it removes a manual value. So if I'm looking at my channel 10 and I assign a manual value to it, which is fading up one of my backlights, if I just simply want to remove that manual value and bring that light back to where it was, I can simply, with that channel still selected, I can hit sneak enter. And the console in a default time, which is configurable and set up, will sneak it back to wherever it was. If I need to select a channel first, I can always do that. I could say, you know, channels 6 through 10 sneak enter and it would fade all of them back to their background value. So that's using basic sneak. Basic sneak also works with multi-parameter fixtures. So for example, I want to grab my Mac 700s and move them to a new location. And after much looking, the designer finally says, no, 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 put them back. Okay. So with those channels selected, I can hit sneak enter and the console will simply return them to where they were in the queue. It's a background value. Now, you have to remember that, it, that whatever that background value was is where they will go back. In this case, it's back to queue number two. Now, there is another command that is particularly useful with multi-parameter fixtures, and that is sneak sneak. And what this does is it just sneaks back the non-intensity parameters. And here's an example of why you might want to do that. Let's, let's do that same example. My max 7 hundreds are going to move to a new location. And instead of the designer saying, no, put them back, the designer says, no, I don't want to use them at all. Roll them out. Okay, so you take their intensity out. Now the look in the stage is exactly the way it needs to be. And if you recorded this cue now, the lights are still in that new unused position. So if I recorded, I would now have an unnecessary move for those uh, moving lights. So by hitting sneak sneak, it's a self-terminating command you can see that the console will return them to the position that they were, but it leaves the intensity out so that you can now record the new cue and the lights have not had an unnecessary move. So that's using sneak sneak. It's a very handy feature, especially if you're doing a lot of programming with, with moving lights. You can also get a little bit more specific with sneak. Instead of using it to return a channel to a background level, you can actually use sneak to sneak a channel to a level. Say, for example, 10 full sneak enter will take channel 10 to full in the default sneak time. I could also specify a time by saying sneak time and enter a new time enter. Sneak enter just uses the default time. And finally I want to talk about using sneak from the direct selects, a very nice feature. What I can do here is say on my Mac 700s, put them in a position, I can use the sneak command to sneak them between, say, a color or a focus position or something. So in this case, if I wanted to send them to a new color, I could say sneak to blue, and the console in the default time will take them from whatever color they were and move them to a blue color. That's using sneak there. And that is using sneak on the EOS.